Thursday morning. Casey and I were able to sleep in as she did not have anything that she had to be at this morning, so that was nice. And, um, which sleeping in for us was, you were up at what, 8 o'clock? Oh, yeah. Like seven <laughs> which is 7 our time at home. And, uh, I was up at, at, uh, Nine o'clock. Anyway, been hanging out. So she's going to do her thing for the day, which is all of her work stuff. And I am headed out that door and getting a ride of some sort, a shuttle or an Uber. Because I'm going to the Smithsonian today. I'm going to go get my nerd on. I love you. Love you too. Bye. Bye. This is the view out of the hotel, and it's, uh, let's see if we can see that, right, let's see, let me try to, right over in this area is the Washington Monument, if you can see the spire there, and that's the general direction that I'm headed. This is pretty cool, it's got a big old atrium, the uh, whole inside of the hotel is glass enclosed and it looks out over over this bay and um, yeah I gotta get down there and try to try to find a ride <clears throat> the all right there goes my uber <clears throat> and I am in front of the natural history museum so I got this coffee 25 minutes ago and it is still too entirely hot to drink I don't know if they actually pour lava into the coffee maker but oh my goodness so this is exciting it's been uh, I was figuring up it's been about 35 years since I've been to uh, Well, looks like I'm going to be standing out here drinking my coffee because no food or drink. That's all right. I'll just, I'll just stand here and look at the Washington Monument. Right there. <laughs> Security, which I feel like I'm going to run into a lot in this city, especially now. I don't remember that 35 years ago, but <laughs> cool. There's one thing I'm looking for in here that I remember when I was a kid. There it is. They have a blue whale in the ceiling. It's enormous. I can't wait to get near it. Yeah. But that's not a, that's not. I don't think that's a blue whale. I mean, it's blue, but it's not a blue whale, is it? It's not the wrong whale. It's not the, it's not the right, it is the right whale, but it's not the whale I'm looking for. So, I think, Sometimes you remember things from your childhood differently than maybe they actually are. And one of those for me would be that whale. When I was here, I could have swore there was a blue whale in the ceiling of this place. Um, I promise you it wasn't that. That's not even how I remember it, or except the color. So I, I worry that I have this skewed memory or whether um, whether well, they've just changed it since then. And that's all made from plastic, from trash. <laughs> Toothbrushes. Anyway, you know, I've spent most of my time here in the, um, in the minerals and gems exhibit.
crystals. So I've been trying to think of this really good gift to get for Casey for Valentine's Day. I think I found it. So I just have to have to see if there's a salesman around here. Nobody's nobody's coming around to I don't I don't know. Can't get anybody to help me. So now I'm heading over into the uh, you know, land animals and stuff. And I think I've got time. I'm gonna run to air and space. Or the American history, we'll see. There's his tail. Looky here. A lot of dead animals in here. Okay, it's about 1.30 and that was fun. I thought I'd spend more time in there, but uh, I don't know, the mammals exhibit, it's, you, you go to the zoo and, I don't know, anyway, it was, there was some interesting stuff in there, but, but, so done with that, and now I am out here on the mall, turn this way, and that's the Capitol building down there, I am walking over to the Air and Space Museum, and I think tomorrow I will do the American History Museum and then maybe go up in the Washington Monument. Um, but yeah, so, uh, so far, cool. Still kind of let down by the fact that there wasn't a blue whale. <laughs> but, you know, when you're an 11 year old, I guess you see the world differently. And especially since I was only in there for, I think, we got there and had 45 minutes to look around when we came when I was a kid. So, it was cool. All right, and uh, Air and Space Museum. It's just like a two block walk. But pretty excited about this. Okay, got everything back on. More security, but I mean, come on, really? I mean, <laughs> that's the uh, spirit of St. Louis right there. Yeah, awesome. Uh, pilots, I guess, decided to go take a break, and uh, they left it on autopilot. They said it said it'd be fine. I'm guessing it will be, but um, yeah, just hanging out in the cockpit here. They'd be back by now. So, cockpit, luggage, and a bathroom, and all of these seats with plenty of room. And then what's interesting, I'm going to say this is the galley right here. This, you know, stewardess can get the food. But look at back here. Look at this, this lounging area in the back. So, apparently it's Flight simulators. And I get to actually control it. So I'm in. And I have to put my bag in a locker so I don't get the film while I'm in there. But that's what they look like. And they go all the way upside down. Okay, that was fun, it was a little cheesy, but, but I definitely got that sucker upside down. I only got three kills though, and in three minutes, it's a, it's a kill a minute, so, all right, when I put it that way, it's not that bad. Is it, is that, is that a drone behind me? Wow. Okay. 
son. Lifting body. It's a mirror to represent the five engines. One, two, three, four, and then the, <laughs> sorry, and then the fifth one would be down below, right back there. That's insane. That, the size of that, that's amazing. Okay, that was awesome. And it's about 3.30. Um, by the way, again, the capital. I'm on the mall. There's the Washington Monument. I am headed that way to um, the Museum of, of uh, American History. I, I dig American history. Man, I'm hungry. I actually have only had a coffee today. <laughs> nothing else to eat and I'm walking a lot but I brought some snack mix that I got on the flight so a little bit of fruit and nuts will get me through until till dinner it was awesome a great trip miss the kids though love that sculpture we have one in Kansas City at the Nelson Atkins I think you can see it on one of my old videos How sobering, and I don't know. I don't, why? Why war? I mean, I sound like a caveman to say it that way, but why? Why? Why some people feel the need to to take advantage of others to such a factor that people have to kill each other to make things right, make things wrong? It's just. I, I got nothing. Okay, really enjoyed the American History Museum. And now I am really cold out here on the curb waiting for um, an Uber to show up. And I'm trying Uber Pool for the first time, which means there could be a couple of stops on the way and other people sharing the ride, which doesn't bother me. I'm just curious how this is going to go. So.